Greetings, this is the Kundalini Queen talking about management of life force energy. So today that I'm recording this is 12-12 of 2019. So it's a triple three in numerology. And I wanted to jump on today and just allow the 12-12 to speak. A lot of times I don't really know what I'm gonna say until I get on. So I'm out in the garage right now. I'm working on the Organite and the Earth Magic creations that I create. Um, I make them as holding stations for this Kundalini energy, really. They are physical manifestations of all the energy I'm channeling. So this is what happens when we get in tune with life force, when we get in tune with Kundalini, is we begin to activate the creative nature. So some of you were born with that already active and you have never been able to shut it down and that's awesome. Um, some of you grew up in a place where you were shut down when you were a child or you felt a lack of self-confidence or for whatever reason, you had a specific system that you were supposed to adhere to, someone that gave you the structure, which is oftentimes the case in a religious setting. But still some people like come through with their kundalini moving and they are the creative one, right? They're the creative one in the family. That's why you always hear, oh, I'm not the creative one or I'm not the musical one. But that's just until your life force energy begins to flow because as soon as it's really flowing and you've worked through a lot of the internal cleansing patterns that it's like you can't even help but create so sometimes when we are wanting to create or we feel the creative urge you know it'll come through in certain ways like for me i was writing for years and i still love to write but i just don't write the same as I used to write. I used to write a lot. I have like 15 published books or something. And granted, they're not all giant. Some of them are, are pamphlet size, but I also have like thousands of online articles that I've published. I have a lot of books on my hard drive that I haven't published. And for a while, my Kundalini was pumping me through the mental field. And I was really, really channeling that energy to help my mind. You know, some, our creations help us channel Kundalini. So right now, Earth Magic Creations, I use a lot of copper. I use a lot of copper wire, which is very Venetian. It conducts energy. It's very feminine. And I am definitely knowing that I'm working on my own feminine energy, bringing balance to my inner masculine feminine. So where some of my stuff is very, like, feminine, where I'm working with, you know, Earth, Earth Magic, some of it is very masculine. Also, the organite, where I'm working with a lot of metals and copper and stones and so forth. Um, so there's both of those elements trying to work through me and find a balanced space. So you'll find that as your kundalini begins to channel that you can't help it. You are drawn to do creative things. And so maybe my word today on 12.12 is just be open to that be open to this creative nature that really wants to come through. This is part of the evolution of our consciousness is we remember that we are creator beings. We are meant to create. We actually have unlimited creative potentiality in us to you know, bring forth all the majesty that is possible in the one life, in the universe, in the universes. And that many of us are gonna start bringing in you know, magical creations that we have worked on in other time space continuums that are going to help channel information better as a creation. Like there's some things I just cannot say that go in to these. And then if someone puts on one of my organized necklaces and then they call me and they're like, wow, I suddenly am not anxious anymore. I'm suddenly not having a problem with stress anymore. But every time I turn this off or take this off, I'm feeling it again. I'm just going to wear it all the time. Then I think <laughs> that's exactly my intention. You know, that's exactly what I want it to do. It actually makes me a little emotional because sometimes you think you try so hard to relay a message verbally and then you realize that it really can't be communicated that way. It's really a, a visual or an energetic thing. 
This is actually one of my favorite pieces from a while back that is not complete because the hole needs to be drilled out again. Um, but they're like time capsules of energy, right? I make these at certain times. So the ones I'm pouring today are 12, 12. I'm making a bunch of organite necklaces, some pyramids, a coaster, and some different things today to kind of capture the frequency of this 12, 12. And so those who are supposed to be caretakers of the frequency that's being anchored today will most likely end up with one of these pieces. So that's kind of how I think about the art. So I'm out here in my shop. I've got all these ingredients, you know, like dustings of crystals and, you know, shungite powder from Russia, you know, like straight up 100% shungite. I try to use all the highest quality stuff that I can find, pink and green tourmaline. I've got sage, I've got, you know, hand-collected obsidian rocks from out here in Utah and I try to go out and, and pick what's in nature that's already fallen. Um, sometimes I grab it off the trees but usually they have released them already that haven't gone to decay that want to be in my mind immortalized. This is my way of honoring and noticing the magic and the majesty of nature. So as your kundalini activates and your creative energy flows, maybe, you know, like if you're wondering, I'm not sure how to express that, well, what brings you joy? Like what, what, when you look at it, makes you just light up and smile? Maybe there's something there to do. And maybe it's just, you have to look something up first to try it. You know, I didn't know how to make Organite when I first started. And, and it was a request actually from Meadow of Meadows Crystals. She's like, I really need some organite in the shop. And, and her asking that question is what originally motivated the, the creation process. And um, so as I looked up, you know, how, what, how, this thing's work, how this thing works, like what's going on here with this organite? What is this? And I started to work you know, with a friend of mine at the time, um, and we started to figure out and realize the power of it, working with it. That's when I started to realize, you know, I didn't really understand that it was Kundalini before that, but as I studied and as I, I had it in my own home, I was like, oh my gosh, this is me. Like, this is the embodiment of this energy. This is a Kundalini structure. And it suddenly made sense that I was being directed toward the next level of my own personal evolution through this artwork. So allow the universe to direct you this day. Allow yourself to be inspired somehow to maybe, you know, stop worrying about things that you have been worrying about and just do something that makes you feel happy and feels good. I, I started out today by taking my boys out to breakfast. We haven't done that in a while. Just gone out and had breakfast together and just had alone time, the three of us, and it was inspiring and recalibrating, you know, to my morning and to my connections. So I hope that you have an equally awesome day this day. I know that this is a very potent, energetic time that we're in, especially leading into the winter solstice, which just happens to be my birthday. I'm very deeply connected to the winter solstice, to what a powerful portal that is, and between now and then this 11-day um, portal or 9-day portal what is it today it's the 12th we got to go the 21st I guess it's the 9-day portal till next Saturday we are in this countdown this like releasing this closure nine is closures it's endings to be to get ready to open back up because the aperture is, is closing down, right? But at the winter solstice, it's also the darkest night of the year, the longest night if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. And then it begins to open the aperture again to a new way of seeing, a new consciousness, a new light. So right now we're just in one of those, you know, combination locks of this closing down of this previous cycle, which now it's ending this whole decade. It's ending a whole segment of reality as we move into a, a more clear vision this next coming 
big cycle. So thank you for joining me. If you need any assistance with life force management, I am here. If I haven't been doing a video every day, it's because I'm deeply in my own inner process and that will pick up again as I feel, as I feel. But in the meantime, you can go back and watch other videos on Kundalini or if you have any questions or messages, please reach out. I'm on Facebook. I'm here. I'm on Instagram and have a beautiful, beautiful day.